At Ross University School of Medicine, we feature a fully digitalized anatomy lab with a digital anatomy table. One of our main goals is to integrate as much new technology into the anatomy lab as possible. What this meant for us, for faculty, for students, was having a lab with no cadavers. During our anatomy lab sessions, we have as many as five stations. One of the stations would be using the Sectra Virtual Dissector, where students get a chance to dissect virtually. The digital anatomy table offers cadavers with a data set of images, MRI images, CT scans, other radiological images. At the Sectra Virtual Dissection tables, they get a chance to virtually dissect a human, as well as get an idea and appreciation of the relationships between structures. There's also a really great feature that helps them interpret medical images. It offers a wide range of information and data that students can use to bring together clinical cases. It holds you a virtual dissection. They'll identify all of the relevant anatomical structures, and then they can make them appear, disappear, rotate, and investigate these spatial relationships. There's also a really great feature that allows for them to investigate those same structures in cross-sectional images which is really helpful for the students because that's a lot of how they might apply their anatomy in the future. Another one of our main goals for the lab is to get students to appreciate the anatomy and understand how it's going to apply to them in their clinical years. In doing that, we've introduced case studies in many of our stations, which the students love because they get to play doctor from day one. So we give them a case, a vignette about a patient, and they get to work through sample problems within the lab. We give all of our students the complete anatomy application, which they can use both in the lab and at home. And the students really love that because it's basically an interactive uh, textbook or atlas. The student learned not just the structure, the anatomical parts, but also function. They can manipulate the, the images, they can zoom in, they can zoom out, they can make things appear or disappear. And they really like seeing the muscles actually flex or extend. They like seeing the heart actually beating and so they use that resource both in and outside of the lab. We've also created some other stations where students have a chance to practice what we call their living anatomy. So they can work on palpations or finding pulses or we even do some body painting so that the students are able to relate the surface anatomy with the underlying structures. We introduced ultrasound into the anatomy teaching as well. And the students really love that because they get a chance to actually do some of this medical imaging. They can apply their anatomical knowledge to clinical correlations. In their very first semester, we give them a chance to look at the carpal tunnel, the rotator cuff, the knee, the heart, and the neck as well. We have an extensive collection of models and skeletal material that the students can use and touch and manipulate and look at, which helps with their 3D understanding of these anatomical structures. Another great thing about having the lab set up into the stations is that we're always able to evolve that curriculum. We can improve it with student feedback. We're always trying to improve what we're delivering to the students and making sure that we can give them what's going to be most relevant to them in their clinical years. We don't want the students to just memorize the structures. We want them to understand why they have to know what those structures are and how they relate to each other and that way they can use that and benefit from that in their clinical years.